I'm worried that if I cancel my license, I'll be caught by a TV detector van. Well, let's talk about this, shall we? Now, it's a question we get a lot here at tvlicensestop.co.uk. People worried about TV detector vans. And I've never really understood it. I mean, back in the day, if you had a telly, you had to have a TV license. That's not the case anymore. You can own a television and not require a television license. So even if it was physically possible for them to detect that you had a telly in your house, so what? It's not against the rules to have a telly and not have a telly license. It's only against the rules to use your TV to watch anything as it's being broadcast or access BBC iPlayer. If you do that, you require a license. They can't possibly know, even if they had detector fans, if you're doing that. And the other thing to remember is, you know, as I just said, without a TV license, you can't watch or record anything that's being shown or access BBC iPlayer. Now, if you're not doing that, you've got nothing to worry about anyway. Now, the TV license detector van things were a bit of a myth. They did have vans with TV licensing written all down the side. Those vans did exist. But they very rarely had equipment in them. I think a couple were kitted out just to be seen to have equipment in them. But it's very tricky to detect what people are watching, even back in the day when it all came through everyone's aerial. Now imagine in the old days, there are many different ways you can watch TV. It's not possible for them to detect what you're watching. It's not possible. And it doesn't matter anyway, because you shouldn't be watching anything you shouldn't be watching without a TV license. And one important point to remember is, you know, they do take people to court for non-payment of the TV license, right? And in all the court cases that have ever happened for TV licensing, not one court case had evidence from a TV detector van. That tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? They're a myth. But if you're not doing anything you shouldn't be doing, you've got nothing to worry about anyway. And even if you wasn't, they wouldn't know unless you tell them. That's how they find out you're doing something you shouldn't be doing. When they knock on your door and they talk to you to try and sell you a license, that's when you get in trouble. You might say something you shouldn't have said or you might even let them in your property. The best way to deal with them and the best way just to be completely shot of TV licensing is if you get a knock on your door from one of the inspectors, just be polite, say no thank you, close the door. Don't say anything, don't sign anything, done. But yeah, TV license detective hands. Nonsense, absolute nonsense.